So I've had a couple questions about Mendeley, how to use it. And um, first disclosure, I use it mostly like a file cabinet to uh, make sure that I have backed up copies of PDFs of articles so I can access them anywhere. Um, I was reminded to <laughs> pay a little attention to Mendeley because I realized this week I lost a couple articles that I had full text for and now I can't find them. So one of the interesting things about Mendeley is when you're backing files up, unless you actually have yourself on a clock and, uh, you know, do it every, you know, I don't know, every Friday when you finish work, any new files, put them in there. Um, it can be really confusing to drop and drag files. So it's pretty easy to drag files into, uh, into folders here. And, um, if that's not easy enough, you can let me know and I'll show you how to do it. But ultimately when you get your files into Mendeley itself, you do want to eliminate duplicates. And uh, I was working on a review project with a grad student a couple years ago, and she named files differently than the way I named them. So that creates a problem. I think I've got 1,400 citations uh, for massage therapy in my big folder on my desktop, and I look in Mendeley and I only have about 900. So um, there's a problem when you're importing files and you're looking for duplicates, because if Mendeley detects too many similarities in the contents, it will try and merge all the PDFs into one file. And so if you've had that happen, um, I'm sorry that it happened. Um, you need to undo that and do a more purposeful look. So what I'm going to do here, just based on the files that I have access to, is I'm going to come up here in Mendeley and I'm going to go over to Tools. And I'm going to do this for all documents today just because it's going to be a little bit easier to show you this, but you can do it for a specific folder. And so under Tools, I'm going to check for duplicates. And what happens is now they're finding um, 13 sets of duplicates. So you're here, um, I would advise you not to just blindly confirm the merge because you'll discover as you go through these one by one, sometimes different files get picked because they have too many similarities. So it's it's kind of like uh, um, turn it in uh, plagiarism software almost. Not to include, in, I'm not accusing anybody of plagiarism. But here I'm looking at an article that uh, is uh, you know court stable, blah blah blah, terms and condition. So it, this is not even the title of the journal article. So clearly this is going to have to be fixed. But I want to scroll down on the right hand side with conflicting fields. And right now Mendeley thinks that the fields are are. Um, are you know pretty much there are no conflicts but if i scroll down and i look at the files that it's going to merge here is an eclis article and a, and a mason mason article mason and it would merge these two into a single file and make it much more difficult for me to find them later on so you'll see there's a little x over here i can x that out and x that out and say no they're not the same and then i can keep going and so i can look next at a boyd article so same thing mendeley gives you little check boxes that says if nothing's checked then there's no conflict and i can scroll down again and see now i've got boyd 2016 boyd 2016 so now we have the naming problem that's revealed but we look at the doi here and if the doi is the same that's good news because that's a unique number for publication. So that's one of the things that you want to look at. And you also want to remember up here in the abstract and the title with um, different databases, if you're pulling in PDF, not even PDFs, pulling in articles from different databases or different uh, places, ideally you're getting the same PDF every place. But sometimes there are subtle differences in the layout of the abstract and Mendeley is not going to pick that up. So in this case, I can look at this and say, I got Boyd 2016, Boyd 2016, I've got my DOI, that's fine. And that's my unique number, 2016 in my root file here. So I confirm the merge, boom, they all get merged into one file. So as you're dropping and dragging citations into Mendeley, it's probably easier to do this one at a time uh, meaning, you know, drop and drag some citations in and go and fix them. And that way you won't end up having, you know, I, I don't know, I ended up with about uh, 120 or so citations that Mendeley all merged those into one file and I had to stop and start over. So just trying to save you a little of the anxiety and pain that, uh, that I went through. So I hope this was helpful and happy researching.